feet together or feet parallel. The feet are about none, one inch apart, two pointing forward arms at the sides. Stride position. The feet are apart about 12 inches wide. The stride may be made wider than 12 inches. The weight of the body is on the both feet and the trunk is the center arms at sides. Long sitting position. Sitting with the legs extended forward, toes pointed, trunk erect, and hands on hips. Hook sitting position. Sit on buttocks, bend knees close to the body, trunk erect, hands on shin of the legs. Long sitting rest position. Legs and toes are extended, forward hands at the rear of the floor, elbow and body straight. Tuck sitting position. Sit on the buttocks, bend knees close to the body, round back so that the foreheads and the knees are in correct. Stride sitting position. Sitting on the buttocks, spread legs apart, trunk erect, hands on tights. Side sitting position. Sitting on the buttocks, bend right or left, legs extended sideward, hands on knees. Heel sit. From kneeling position, sit on the heels of the feet, toes pointed, hands on hips. Cross sitting. Sitting is a cross leg position. The arms are also cross. Prague sitting or trailer sitting. Kneeling position. Kneel on both knees. Knees close together. Body erect. Hands on hips. Stride kneeling position. Kneeling on both knees with knee apart. Half kneeling position. Right or left kneeling on right or left in half kneeling position in front. Hands on hips. Kneeling position one leg. Kneeling on one leg, the other extended sideward, forward, or backward. Back or spin lying position. Lying on the back, the body is well extended, arms, overhead, Toes pointed. Front or prone lying position. Body is well extended. The side of the body is in contact with the floor. Toes pointed arm forward. Side lying position. With the body well extended, the side of the body is in contact with the floor. One hand on the floor overhead and other hand bent close to chest, palm on floor, toes pointed. Hook lying position. In the back of lying position, bend knee with the feet close to back tucks. Feet flat on the floor, arms overhead. Tuck lying position. Lying on the back, pull the knees close to the forehead, hold shin of legs. Supine or back arm support. From a long lying position, lift the body with straight arm support. Body legs and toes well extended and one straight line. Prone or front support. From front lying position, lift the body to front arm support. Body legs and toes well extended in a one straight line. Dog stand position. From a kneeling position, place the hand on the floor, elbow straight, toes pointed, the knees, and the hand are the base support. Bridge stand position. From a hook sitting, lift the trunk, legs and the arms in the right angle with the trunk. Hands on hips. Achieve by placing both hands on hips. Hand on chest. Achieve by placing both hand on chest, palm face downward, and arm on shoulder level. Hands on head. Achieve by placing both of your hands on top of your head. Hands on shoulder. Achieve by placing both hands on the top of your shoulder. Hands on rear, 
of neck achieved by placing both hands on the nape of the neck. Arms sideward achieved by holding up both hands sideways and shoulder level. Arms upwards achieved by holding up both hands upward. Arms obliquely sideward downward achieved by holding up both hands sideways at hip level. Arms oblique backward downward achieved by holding up both hands backwards and shoulder level. Arms oblique forward upward achieved by holding up both hands sideways above the shoulder level. Arms forward achieved by holding up both hands forward and shoulder level. Arms in T position achieved by raising your elbow at shoulder level and pacing your arms downward. Arms in reverse T position achieved by raising your elbow at shoulder level and pacing your arms upward.